Hello, all you hard course out there, how are you doing? Russ here from Focus Corner, the biggest gob in the sport. We say the things on here that nobody dare say. Isn't that right? All time world champion, all of famer, MBE. Pop, pop, bam! Right. Angano and Fury. Uh, Angano and Fury. Right. Look at the paths that the careers have gone. Fury is now going to fight Usek. So they say. I don't think that happens on the 17th. And Angano is going to fight Anthony Joshua. And apparently, the talk is, on the same night, Wilder is going to fight Zhang. Hmm. This is how I look at it. So we're not, we didn't fall for it a few weeks ago, not only once, but now twice. Could you imagine it? Wilder and Joshua, the talk we've been talking about for years and years and years since Wilder done Audley. It's like 10 year chat, isn't it? Hmm. They're going to fight uh, in the same arena. How's about that? The same arena. Again. But with different opponents, Wilder and Zhang, if it happens, and Joshua and Ngarno, if it happens. How's about that, eh? Why do they keep doing this to us, eh? If you had their ages up, Ngarno and Joshua had their ages and months up, both of them are over 80 years old. Do the same with Wilder and Zhang. They're over 80 years old, old men. Zhang's not shot to bits, but he could at any day. Wilder is shot to bits. Fury's on slide. And Joshua's on slide. Everything's overcooked. So this is their way of thinking. Let's get Wilder in the ring with Zhang. And let's get Joshua in the ring with Ngarno. And they're hoping that Joshua beats Ngarno. And Wilder beats Zhang. And then he's got his redemption then, hasn't he? And then they could big up to Joshua. Wilder fight, but... Why are we going down this Joshua Wilder route? Why can't Anthony Joshua, right? Buy somebody like Frank Sanchez, Jared Anderson, Daniel Dubois. Why can't they fight uh, this ne these next gen, these up and comers, and show that they're still hungry and that Ali oh, did it? He took on all comers, didn't he, Muhammad Ali, from different eras? He were beating Liston and Patterson. He beat them both twice each. That's four wins over world champions. He beat Fraser twice. That's six. That's more than Fury. And it's more than Joshua already. That's just off three opponents. Ali took him on from 1956 gold medalist Patterson to 1976 gold medalist Leon Spinks, who he fought twice. 20 year. How many years is in that? Well, they're saying here is four years. There's a five years left there. And what we got here? They're all going right outside, aren't they? How many more times do we have to hear that Joshua's going to fight on the same night as Wilder? Because this will be two now if it happens. And they're still not in the in ring together. You know, I must be, uh, I must be going cuckoo. It must just be me. Is it just me? I don't know. But all the, all this lot here, all these media guys, none of them are going to mention it, are they? They're not going to say half the stuff I say. They're going to dress it up like Gareth A. Davis, the guy. Yeah, and do you know what, Tyson? Derek Chisora's a better fighter now for this third fight with you, innit? Shut up. Even Tyson knew that we're going overboard, didn't he? These are what these people are now. They become in-house media guys. Puppy Parsons. Little cutie pie. The dad. Juggy is Oliver. All of them. Darren Barker. Bellew. All of them. All the lot are in the cesspit. This is what they're going to serve us up. A man getting in with Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury's left of us. If you look on paper, it isn't it? Fury's already done him. He's had 10 rounds, 30 minutes action as a pro fighter. And he's going to fight Anthony Joshua. 
Olympic gold medalist, two-time unified world champion. We all know what Eddie Hill said, don't we? What did Eddie Hill say? What did Eddie Hill say? Like, when Fury and Angana was announced. Now look. Now look. What's good for the goose? It's good for the gander, isn't it? Well, it is, isn't it? Nobody's going to say a word. It's going to batter down the hatches and crack on with it. Now, uh, why should I care? I'm just going to rinse them because they deserve it. They've been chatting that much nonsense for years. We've got to the business end of the table and everybody's filled the nappies, haven't they? Well, they have, haven't they? They've filled their nappies. Now, it is what it is. Gentlemen, left a text. What did yesterday comment? Well, why do you have to shout? Listen, nobody's forcing you to watch. If you don't like it, get gone. You don't like my channel? I am forcing anybody to watch this. Nobody. I've never got a gun to your head, none of yours. You don't want to watch? Don't watch. If you want to watch, watch. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. If you want to abuse me or disagree with me, do a Zoom. Don't hide behind your keyboards because half of you are laminate holders. <laughs> Speaking of laminate holders, we'll have to pause this. The, the Joshua and Garner Wilder Zhang chat. Let me just pause that. Talking to somebody out here now. Do you like boxing, you rust still? Goes, oh, yeah, 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 of course I do, yeah. Well, I don't watch it no more. Why don't you watch it? Because when you've got managers and trainers taking 15-year-old girls to the other side of the world to fight, there's a problem. And you know what? I think he's right. What sort of man would be running around other end of the world with somebody's female child and getting them to box grown ass women? What sort of man does that? Who's a man who's got daughters? Hey, come and take me on in a Zoom, Mr. Boxing Trainer Manager. Come on, let's talk about this. Why are the media not all over you for this? They should be mentioning this and the fact that Terry Harper had a cult tattoo on her arm. Your emblem that she's had took off. Talk about control freaks. You're a control freak. You know you are, don't you? Come see me. Right, getting back to Joshua. Well, is it hearsay? No, it isn't hearsay. This is how they work it, isn't it? These are gimmick fights now. They want to get in on the act, get some money. Now, whatever Anthony Joshua gets for the fight, Eddie Hills will get his cut. He ain't bothered. He's not going in the ring, is he? But uh, do you remember them misfit shows a few years ago when Eddie used to hammer them? Then he started putting them on, didn't he? And it's just the same, in it? And do you know why that is? It's simple, isn't it? Money. How notes? Absolute weapons. Weapons. Why not AJ Zhang? Why AJ Engano? And Wilder Zhang. Why not AJ and a hungry fighter, Frank Sanchez, Jared Anderson, Cabot, yeah, Cabot, Jack Caballel, whatever Caballel, who's just beat that, who is it? Maz, Maz Beck, whatever. Why don't they put Matt Ma 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 whatever he's called, Aslan Makhmedoff and Mick Beard, that scary looking big grizzly, Russian grizzly. Why don't they put him in with Wilder? Put him in with Wilder. Put Caballel in with Joshua. Frank, Ch Frank Sanchez in with Joshua. Jared Anderson, Jared Anderson in with Joshua. Daniel Dubois in with Joshua. Why not? Why not? Why not do all that? Why have we got Angano, 38-year-old, going in with Joshua? Hey, why? Who wants to see? Who wants to see that? Why not Zhang and Joshua? They've got history, haven't they? Joshua beat Zhang in the Olympics. Eddie would normally be... Go, going berserk over something like this. The script's in front of their eyes. Zhang was an Olympic silver medalist a few Olympics before Joshua won it, but when they did fight in the 2012 Olympics, Joshua beat him. And in fact, out of the four guys he beat, he was the only one that he really beat. The other three were hometown decisions. The Cuban and the Italian kid, Cabarelli, they were gifts for Joshua. Gifts, hometown gifts. The other one, 
could have gone either way, but you could definitely say he got two out of out of the four. So it is what it is, isn't it? But uh, AJ Debar is a great fight, an absolute great fight. So, but when you look at it now, look at the look at the CBs, look at Fury's CB. When did it go tits up for Fury? I'll tell you when it went tits up for Fury. He had two and a half year out and he come back heavier than he were for Vladimir. And you know when you're carrying that weight, the big difference. For example, look at me, 165 pound man. If I if I'm say 30 pound overweight, what is that 30 pound in kilos? Is it about say let's say 15 kilo weight? If I go downstairs, right, and I get a 15 kilo disc thing, you know, like we put on dump on Olympic bar. <laughs> And I put that in a rucksack on my back. And they said, right, we'll do your morning run with that on. Or do your sparring with that. Or carry that around with you all day on your normal daily act, daily routine. You'd be, once you got it off your back, you'd feel like, wow, you'd be a lot quicker, wouldn't you? You would, wouldn't you? You'd be a lot quicker. It's like trying to rep out, isn't it, on 75 key on bench press. And when you go back to 50 key, you get more reps, don't you? Because it feels lighter. Well, that's what it's like when you take that 15 kilo up, rucksack off your back. And that's what it's like for Fury, because he can't get out of way anymore. He can't get out of way. And he can't get his punches off. He couldn't nail Engano because of the weight. He never dropped him, did he? Drop Wilder, well, didn't drop him. And he can't get out of the way because of the weight. And you're old, old, getting old and how he's lived. You know, Engano, let's have it right, his feet are in cement. To like blocks of cement, he's like Joe Joyce. And Foreman, George Foreman. Oh. Wilder will get beat by Sang, right? And then it, then Wilder's done, his two fight deal's done then. He's not bothered. Wilder, you don't have to make weight. He'll probably just turn up and have a one-round blowout. And then we've got Zhang there. We'll be pushing back 43 then, won't it? Where does he go then? After he does Wilder, they'll just park him up. They'll park him up. People like that, they get parked up, don't they? It's like Callum Johnson, isn't it? He got parked up, didn't he, in his division, didn't he, basically? After he got stuck into Viterbia, he dropped him and that. Nobody wanted to come near Callum Johnson, didn't they? And it's going to be a similar situation with Zhang, isn't it? A bit like with Lewis Ortiz as well. But Joshua didn't want any of him, did he, when he were 22 and 0, 20 by way of, or something like that. Knocking everybody out, Southpaw. Angano and Joshua. So basically, they're going to go back on the word and just say, well, I'm a promoter, I say things. And that's just it. And you can just come out with, well, oh, I'm a promoter, I say things. You know what it is. Cheeky Nando's, pickled on your monster munch. Let's plot up. Is that what it is? Is that what we're up against? Go on, my son. Cheese of sort. All that. A lot of nonsense, isn't it? It's a money grab. They're going out there as a money grab. But do you know what? I think in end. You know, them Saudis, they'll probably get fed up of this lot. It's not them fighting anybody, are they? They're, they're, they're even doing it to Saudis. They're even dragging it out out there. That's what they're doing. They're dragging it out. We're further away now than ever. They're getting these big fights. There's going to be no left of them all. By the time they get them in ring, you know what it's going to be? Overcooked. Gonna be overcooked, isn't it? By the time they get him in that in ring. Winds me up. So let's look at their CVs, Joshua's. Hmm. Franklin, Ilenius, Wallin, and Angarno. That'll be four gimmies since Usek. Four gimmies! Hmm. <laughs> Fury there. Fury were finished, really, wasn't he, after, after the second Wilder fight? After the second Wilder fight, right? I don't know what he's done with his lifestyle after beating him. He beat Wilder comfortably the second time. But Fury has gone out of control after that second Wilder fight. There's no zip in his legs. If you get, I'll get Kent on next week. He's got all the statistics. How many feints Tyson Fury throws per round? What rounds he takes off? We know it all. How many punches he throws? Do they think that these other trainers and people in the game don't spot things like this? Hey, do they think that? 
Do they think that they don't spot that kind of stuff? Of course they do. Of course they do. It's on the slide. Wilder's on the slide. He couldn't even throw his hand. He had it cocked all the way through. It reminded me of De La Hoy against Manny Pacquiao. He couldn't throw it because of what was coming back. Shot men picking up multi-millions, masquerading as elite fighters on social media and on all these YouTube channels. Is anybody, anybody going to put it on these and say, look, basically, the hardcore media and the, most of the boxing fans are saying you a lot of shot to shit. What about the next gen guys? Come on, your Caballels, Frank Sanchez, Jared Andersons, Daniel DeVars, these guys, come on. We need to be looking at these. These are want to fight people. Usyk wants to fight, doesn't he? Whether Fury gets it ring with him or what, I don't know. You're going to see a lot of that in the next six weeks. A lot of people chatting a lot of shit. A lot of bluff and counter bluff. But let me just say this. They're trying to do all that with Usyk. Usyk's had 350 amateur fights. I think he's... Lost 15 of them and rematched 11, something like that it is. It's some crazy statistics. You know, from like 10-year-old, they had them running up mountains in snow bare feet. Did you see that training session on YouTube? I just can't get that out of my head because I've done an ice bath. And I've seen John from Welcome Estates do one in Peter Fury's gym. Just before we left, they said, oh, you've got to go in ice bath. And John was like, we have seen it on my shorts video. John get, from Welcome Estates getting in ice bath. With big feet, Peter Fury and Joe, Joe and them there. So you get in. He did well, but did you see Usek in that fish pond? Or whatever it was, he jumped in that wooden thing. They don't need all this fancy cybergenic stuff or whatever and all this technology. Did you see Usek finish his training session? He never even screamed, did he, when he got in that icy water, did he? He stripped off down to his shreddies and just eased in and just... Let the water come to them were grinning like a cat. Like a Cheshire cat. I looked at him and I thought, he's not fretting about anything. He's been off front line in trenches. Do they think he's bothered about a 21 stone, six foot seven fat man? He's seen every style, Usa, can he? He's seen every single style. Unbelievable. Nine months ago. Nine months ago, Frank Warren, a.k.a. Brick Top, he said, and I quote, I think it's looking like Anthony Joshua's finished. There you go. After that Franklin fight, about nine months ago, oh, it looks like he's finished. What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Saying that. And now look. Look what he's saying now. Brick Top. You're saying everything that you ate. You didn't want to do stubble, brick top, did you? You did stubble. You didn't want to go to Saudi, did you? Ah, you did Saudi. You hammered these misfit show shows. You got involved with all that, didn't you? You've been involved with stuff like that with Tommy. You said Joshua's shot. Now he said he's a roadman killer. Which is it, brick top? These people can't lie straight. On a sofa bed. That's what we're going to say. In bed then, didn't you? Lies, lies, lies. And more lies. It's a good job I'm here to correct the minute. Hey, eh? Unbelievable. Like I said before, and I'll say it again. When that ice breaks, big peel we're waiting. <sighs> Monitor lizards. That's what they are. Monitor lizards. All backtracking. I've seen it all today. Have you seen all them interviews? Backtracking. The backtracking is unbelievable from them all. Oh, oh, oh. Unbelievable. AJ, I don't fight for money. I just fight for legacy. Now I fight for money. Bit of a debate on social media yesterday about Crusher Ben, the Crushinator. We'll come back to uh, the Joshua situation in a minute. The Crushinator. Somebody says to me, has he handed an air follicle in? The Crushinator. Because the air follicles, they go back 400 days, don't they, with medical science. You can pay. It costs a lot of money. So come and take an air follicle. It can come off your arm. 
your head or your leg or your chest. Take an air follicle. It's not painful. Or just cut one off. Put it in a little clipper bag. Give it to them and they test it. Now, what can Ello's air sample that were cleared? Well, that is air sample because he had to prove himself at WBC, didn't he? So, but didn't Canelo get a six month ban, but he fights every six month anyway? So that didn't mean no. And then down the line, they cleared him. So that's gone now. But didn't the WBC president go to Canelo's wedding? So they're like that, aren't they? A bit like Lindsay Tucker from IBF going to Dennis's wedding, isn't it? These people are thick as thieves. All right, thick as thieves. Conor Ben, just give an air follicle. Do you know what I mean? I know it's a lot of money. It can be up to that. It's thousands of pounds for that. Just do that. It would have saved you hundred grand on lawyers that you never even spent anyway. I mean, anybody failing dope test now to prove you're innocent, just get an air follicle. That's all you've got to do. It's not rocket science. Do you know what I mean? No. And when you look at Crusher Ben, go look at them performances. Go and look at the Chris Algieri performance. Go look at that. And then look at the Orozco one the other day. Oh, October, we're a couple of months, three months, three months ago now. But look at that one. And he stepped up a weight. So he's eight pound heavier in the Orozco, yeah? Eight pound. What happened? He couldn't get him out there. And look what happened to Chris Algieri, former world champion. He put him on button moon, didn't he? So, oh, it is what it is, isn't it? We know what we're seeing, don't we? We know what we're seeing. Uh, so, Fury, in his last four, the Wilder third one, right? In his last four fights, Tyson Fury, Wilder three, the trilogy, got dropped twice. White flattened him, Dylan White, smashed Del Boy up. He's smashed him up three times now. That's just like schoolyard bully, isn't it? Beating somebody on a Monday. Oh, he's had a fight with it previous week. It's just bullying, isn't it? And then Garno, right? So at them four fights, Fury were on the floor three times because Andrano and Garno dropped him, didn't he? That's my point. He don't throw as many punches as he used to. He's taking rounds off and his punch resistance gone and his legs, he can't go out of weight because he's carrying too much weight. It's just plain old logic. Do they think they were all stupid, those people who do this? Do they think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm a stupid boxing person? No. It's all there for you in black and white. What is going on? You can see it. On the decline. So let's get as much money in as we can. Saudi is like the holy grail for Fury now. And this is how it's going to go down. If he fights Usyk, he'll fight him again. Because he's got a two-fight deal. He's locked in twice with Usyk. And he's also locked in with Ngano rematch, isn't it? So there's Fury's next three fights. Let's say he fights all them three and he's a good boy. I think he gets beat twice by Usyk. And I think he probably beats Ngano again. So, but off them three fights, you're talking over 100 million, aren't you, net? So is Fury going to be bothered? No, if somebody come up to him tomorrow and said, would you sell that O for a couple of losses for 100 mil? They'd say, yeah, of course he would. Would Joshua? Joshua's been beat three times now. He's not bothered about anything now. He's just a gun for hire. Joshua's not bothered about being world champion now. If he were bothered about being world champion, he'd be wanting to get go for a world title fight, wouldn't he? Or he'd want to fight an eliminator and force a world title shot. But how can he be put how can Joshua be wanting to fight for a legacy? All right? When he's fighting Franklin. Ilenius, Il Wallin, and now Ungarno. How are they legacy fights? A legacy fight for Joshua now would be Ergovic, wouldn't it? And when a, and, and that would either be for IBF vacant bell or to be definitely mandatory. They're legacy fights. You know, Frank Sanchez, Jared Anderson, Daniel Dubois. Hungry fighters. They're your legacy fight. Why can't you fight somebody hungry? Not Ungarno, 38 year old. You will be wanting when the fight. What is that? What is that? Come on. It upsets me. It does, it upsets me. It is what it is, isn't it? You know, nobody's going to say a word. Only me. Only me and my lot on here. 
which brings me to somebody having a little pop this morning about people who I come on here and having a pop about it called the commission. I call it the commission, don't I? Have you seen it on the website? But look, I can do what I want, can't I? Nobody's going to tell me what to do. No one. But if it's a bit cheesy, so be it. It's a bit cheesy, isn't it? The commission's a bit of fun, isn't it? It's just a bit of light art and entertainment. We'll try and make it like that. I can be serious when I want to be serious when we have all the statistics. Well, we can have banter and be funny. But let's have it right. If anybody's got a problem with any of them lads who come on here, let me know because all I see are good comments and you get odd one. You get the odd one, but not that many. That's what it is. If you think you can do better, come on, Bert. The books are shut. The books are shut at the moment because we've got too many messes. People want to come on, but they shit the pants. Shit them. You've got no knackers. It's not for everybody. I don't want to hear what you've got to say on my WhatsApps. Get on here and say it. Get on here and say it. People having little pops. Look, everybody's different who comes on my channel, aren't they? Kent's different. Richard. Julian. Terry Rico. All of them. If I missed anybody out, I do apologise. Andy from Aberdeen. Everybody, all good people, right? And I'm not going to have anybody abusing these people. So if you start saying so-and-so's a tosser, Cameron will remove it. And if you carry on, he'll block you. This is logic, isn't it? Why would I have you upsetting my team? I'm not going to have that, am I? We're a team here. We're a unit. We're not a cult. I don't like that word, in cult. I don't like that word now, cult. People going on about cult. That's for people going on about, well, they're trying to make out the boxing channels, but they talk pure filth. That's your cult. That's not me. Live chat and they whip begging bucket out. Well, it's not me. That's not me. It is what it is. So that's about it, really. Right. Some training now. Nah. Not fancy as well, starving. I think I'm gonna have a few games of pool. And I'm gonna go on get my dogs out. So that's about it. Saturday, quarter past one. And I'm done. And I'm not even bothered about going to pub. How bad is that? I've got square, am I? Square bear. Boring. I'm drinking shandy next. I used to take piss out of people drinking that. So don't come in my company with that shandy, you dosser. Now look at me. Hypocrite. Okie dokie. Everybody have a great weekend. Uh, I think I've got... Uh, I'm not sure if it's Rico coming on later. Kent. Or Andy. I know I've got Big Richard might be coming on tomorrow. From, well, he's Little Richard now, isn't he? From... Uh, because I think he's going to be coming on. Uh, got all the rest of my team now. <laughs> What's that West West Brom West Brom kid? Michael, you messer. What did I say to you? What did I say to you two weeks ago, Michael? The main problem is people arranging stuff and they're not coming on. Stick to your word, pet eight of mine. I call them shit chatters. And West Ham are shit anyway. I'm sorry, West Brom the shit. They'll not get promoted. Give me a ring, Michael. Okie dokie. Big shout out to Tom and Nikita. I hope you're well. I hope your little boy's all right as well. You take care. You'll be caked in shitty nappies, won't you, all weekend? Come on, peace out. Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. That's about it. Change. Right. Okie dokie.